In the second part of section 5.7, we'll study trajectories for the dynamical systems. We'll discuss attractors, repellers, and saddle points. In the first part of the section, we studied uh, dynamical systems in this form, in this metric form. X prime is uh, AX. Let lambda i vi uh, be eigenpairs of A. And then the general solution of this uh, dynamical system uh, is given in this way, x of t is c1 v1 e to the lambda 1t plus c2 v2 e to the lambda 2t for arbitrary scalars c1 and c2. Here, we consider the case uh, where the eigenvalues are real and distinct. If the eigenvalues of A are both negative, then the origin is called an attractor because all trajectories are drawn to the origin as t increases. Here, lambda 1, lambda 2, both negative, then this value will become 0, approaching 0, as t increases, so that the trajectory uh, will be drawn to the origin. So it looks like uh, an attractor. Uh, for the solution in the last example, the direction of greatest attraction is along the trajectory of the eigenfunction x2, uh, corresponding to the more negative eigenvalue, uh, lambda is minus 2. The other eigenvalue was minus 1. If uh, the eigenvalues of A are both positive, then here as t increases, this value increases, and also uh, this one, uh, so that here um, the trajectory uh, traversed away from the origin. So we call the origin a uh, repeller. If A has both positive and negative eigenvalues, then uh, the origin is called a saddle point of the dynamical system because in one direction it's attracting and the other direction it is repelling. The greater the eigenvalues in modulus, in absolute value, the greater attraction or, or repulsion. Okay, here we have a, a problem. Solve the initial value problem. And what are the direction of greatest attraction and the direction of greatest repulsion? Okay, to find the solution, uh, we should find the first eigenvalues and corresponding eigenvectors. So here, a minus lambda i, then that is the same as 2 minus lambda 3, and minus 1 minus 2 minus lambda. So its determinant is ad minus bc, that is lambda minus 2 and lambda plus 2 and plus 3. So that is now lambda squared and that is minus 4 and plus 3. So it is minus 1 and that is 0. Okay. So x squared is uh, 1. Uh, that means that lambda is okay lambda squared is one so lambda is one and minus one okay we have two um, eigenvalues one is positive one is negative so that the origin uh, must be a set point okay? okay when lambda is one okay lambda is one then uh, 
uh, a minus lambda i, that is here 1 and 3, and minus 1, minus 3. Okay, so we have to find a solution uh, of this homogeneous equation for an eigenvector. So here we have v1 is now changed position, so 3, 1. We put 1 uh, here negative, so let's try to put negative here. So for this lambda 1, we have a v1, an eigenvector. How about when lambda is minus 1, so lambda 2 is minus 1, then, okay, a minus lambda uh, 2i, so we have to add 1 along the diagonal, that is now 3 and 3, and here minus 1 and minus 1. Again, we have to find the solution of this homogeneous system. So that is now V2. Again, change the position. It's essentially the same as 1, 1. And then we put here 1 negative, like that. Then it's an eigenvector. So uh, the general solution uh, becomes x of t equal now c1 v1 which is here minus 3 and 1 and e to the now lambda is 1 so that 1t just t and uh, plus c2 v2 is minus 1 and 1 and e to the minus 1 the lambda is minus 1 so minus 1t which is minus t so this is uh, the general solution, and we have to decide the C1 and C2 uh, by using the initial value. X at 0 is now, there's a C1, the vector V1, minus 3 and 1, plus a C2, that is now minus 1 and 1, must be here and 3 and 2. We can solve we can find the C1 and C2 by solving this system. You can do it from the augmented matrix. So minus 3 and 1, first column. Second column is minus 1 and 1. And right side is 3 and 2. Now we apply element to row portions. Then here we have identity. And you can do it. So I'll try to uh, use the solution anyway. Here, uh, that is now minus um, 5 over 2. Earlier I computed it, and second one is 9 over 2. Okay, so C1 is minus 5 over 2, and C2 is 9 over 2, so that you can finalize this uh, solution. Okay, here, so in along this direction, and now as t increases, the value increases. So it's along the direction it is repelling, and along that direction, now here this value uh, is approaching zero, so it is uh, attracting. Let's see uh, this picture. Okay, so here. That is uh, v1 mm, direction, x is minus 3 and y is 1. So that is uh, v1. This is a v1, the corresponding to now lambda uh, equals 1, lambda 1. Now that one is the v2 direction. And here the lambda 2 is minus 1. So as you can see here, Along the direction is attracting, and along that direction is repelling. So uh, that is trajectory. In our case, right now, uh, we start from x is 3 and y is 2. So x is 3 and y is 2 is around there. Okay, around there. Okay. Then the solution uh, profile will be given 
along this arrow direction like that and here it is coming not stretch line but anyway coming here and uh, going out that direction okay that's uh, the solution but in general once you start from uh, for example here then it's going in and now going out you can find such trajectory okay here we uh, summarize uh, the solutions of dynamical systems in 2d so a is in, in is a two by two metric and let uh, lambda one v one and lambda two b two are eigenpairs of a here um, lambda one lambda two are real and distinct then uh, this is uh, the general solution we already considered and if a has double eigenvalue lambda with eigenvector v then uh, here, once you, after finding lambda in V, and you have to find the second solution, it has two parameters, C1 and C2. So in a sense, it has um, the degree of freedom two, but once you have only one uh, eigenvalue, then you have only one solution like that. And you have to find the, the second solution here. That is the first solution. Now you have to find the second solution. And we uh, start from the solution in this form. Then here you can get this system. Already lambda is determined and V is also known from the eigenvalue eigenpair so that uh, you can solve this problem and you can find a, a solution W. And of course, W is not unique. Um, however, you can decide one and after decide W, you can organize in this way because we uh, start with another solution in this form so that eventually this must be T v plus w and e to the uh, lambda t that is exactly that one that is same as uh, okay here t v plus w and e to the lambda t so w is chosen such that this one becomes another solution well, apparently this solution and that one now v is non-zero so that uh, this solution and that solution are linear independent so we found two linearly independent solutions so that now this solution has uh, degree of freedom too so that can be uh, the general solution now what if we have complex valued eigenvalues lambda a plus bi as an eigenvalue then is conjugate will be also eigenvalue and with a v and v uh, var so that that is uh, the general solution however uh, this one is complex value though we are dealing with real value of the system but the solution is complex value though so that it's not uh, convenient to get uh, real valued um, solutions here we need a little bit of manipulation now lambda is written as here a plus bi and the corresponding eigenvector v is a real part plus i times imagined part then here the for this one we can here expand now uh, for that one e to the lambda t okay we are using the Euler formula e to the i theta for every real 
it is same as cosine theta plus e, okay, i times now sine uh, uh, theta. That's the Euler formula. When uh, theta is pi e to the i pi, then that will be minus 1. So then plus 1 equals 0. Probably you already saw uh, this equation uh, named the, the Euler equation. Okay? But anyway, this is also Euler formula. Using uh, the Euler formula, we can write in this way, there is a v, and here this portion is same as e to the lambda t, and just uh, apply some algebra to get that one, and we select here the real part as y1, and for the imaginary part, we call y2. Then, uh, these two are linearly independent. And so that these two can be a uh, solution of uh, the uh, original dynamic system. So uh, uh, we have uh, this form of solution by using y1 and y2, and along with the c1 and c2, some scalars. Now we can formulate the real value solution uh, of the dynamic system when uh, it has two compressive value the eigenvalues. Okay. You can use this one, however, it is complex valued for real value system, so it may not be uh, not convenient so that you may try to find the real value the solution. Now, you have to find the two independent components, uh, which are y1 and y2, chosen from uh, real part and imaginary parts. Okay. Okay, let's try to uh, solve this problem. Construct the uh, general solution, uh, x prime is uh, ax, when a is given uh, in this way. Okay. So first, uh, uh, let's try to find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors. A minus lambda i, that is the same as here, minus 3 minus lambda, and 2, and minus 1, and minus 1 minus lambda. Its determinant is AD minus BC. So along with negation, that is same as lambda plus 3, and again negation, and that is same as uh, lambda plus 1, and that is plus 2. Okay. Okay, so that is same as lambda squared plus 4 lambda and plus 3 and plus 2. So that, that is plus 5. Now we have to solve this characteristic equation. Okay, here there is a lambda uh, plus 2 squared. You can use quadratic formula, but that is same as minus 1. So that here, lambda plus 2 is plus minus square root of minus 1, which is same as plus minus uh, i. So we can get lambda is minus 2 plus minus i. Right? And for each eigenvalue, you can find the eigenvector. And for example, when lambda is minus 2 plus i, then a minus lambda i, that is, okay, minus 3, now minus of that value, so that, and plus 2, so the real part is minus 1, and minus i, and 2 here and minus 1, the same, and minus 1, and here uh, plus 2, so that 1 minus i, like that. So from this one, we have to find uh, a solution 
um, for this homogeneous equation. Now that can be here for this one. Okay, let's say this is a lambda one. And then there is a v one. It's the same as now change the position. So that is i minus one, and now change one of them. The sine one. Okay. Now we found one eigenvalue and its corresponding eigenvector. Then we may uh, try to use this formula and you can uh, formulate y1 and y2 uh, by using this value. In this case, a is now minus 2, b is 1. Right? So you can make that uh, y1, y2. You can do it uh, yourself. Then, here for that problem, you get over there. So the conflict solution is given in this way. Uh, out of that, we can find the real solution uh, in this form. And here, this is trajectory. So first component will make uh, x values, and the second one will make a second, um, second values, and then now, trajectory is uh, given in this way. Okay. Now, because um, here that is um, real part of eigenvalue as negative, as t increases, this approaches zero, so that the origin is on a tractor. Okay. So, um, once you find uh, complex value the eigenvalues, then here, once the real part is negative, then you'll see uh, the attracting um, the trajectory. And if uh, real part of the eigenvalue is positive, then uh, you can see repelling trajectories. Okay. Okay, that's the end of the section. Thank you.